light and airy. Meringue is known for its sweet flavor and the way it melts in your mouth. Bakers and pastry chefs use meringue in a wide array of products such as fillings and toppings for pies, as shells, or for baked Alaska. Meringue can also be used as a component within other items like souffles or buttercream. Using proper techniques while understanding the concepts will ensure that your meringue is perfect every time. Baking and pastry production is a well-established craft that demands both talent and attention to detail. In this video, we'll walk you through making meringues and give you some suggestions on how to put them to use. Chef Dan Budd is an associate professor of baking and pastry. Meringue is a mixture of egg whites sweetened and stabilized with sugar. A common ratio for these ingredients would be one part egg whites and two parts sugar. The quality of these ingredients plays a large part in the final meringue. We use grade A large eggs as our standard. When separating the whites, be sure there's no impurities or yolks left in them or they won't whip up to a good volume. We use standard granulated sugar with no clumps. These same quality standards apply to any ingredients you would add to your meringue. When whipping the egg whites and sugar, we'll refer to the stages as soft, medium, or stiff peak. We'll first start out making meringue by hand, but you might find a machine is better for your production needs. Remember, when you're working with egg whites that are raw, be aware of sanitation regulations, and if you're going to serve a product without further baking, then pasteurized egg whites might be an option. Although meringue is made primarily with two ingredients, its preparation and use take many forms. We'll first start out with the common meringue, and we'll show you a few variations. Then we'll make two other meringues, the Swiss meringue and Italian meringue. The action of whipping these egg whites is pretty straightforward. Although the concept behind the tiny bubbles, the activity of proteins, and the added sugar is pretty involved. We'll talk about this more as we get whipping. Your work area and equipment should be organized and within reach as you prepare your meringue. We'll be using a stainless steel bowl, clean and free of any film or fat residue for our mixing. If you're whipping by hand, a folded side towel can assist you in stabilizing the bowl. Work clean. Impurities will hinder your production.